Sitting down to begin this video, it was 2 hours and 23 minutes worth of footage and 193 clips. This chicken coop design process all started back when we bought our house, knowing that we wanted chickens on our property and we had this little building. The colors were red, white, and blue, stars, all that pretty, like out there. And with social media, it's fake. Everything on social media is just truly like fake. Even if you follow someone who's real raw, I try to like pride myself in that almost and just share how I feel XYZ but even so then I was finding myself if I was filming like a clip so these are vertical because I wasn't doing YouTube stuff back then but very quickly it'll switch over to regular YouTube landscaping but I would find myself if I'm filming something just making sure to keep the red white and blue like barn silo thing out of it because I didn't want it to be seen it wasn't cute it wasn't the vibe it was not what I was going for and so I would find within myself like deep in my conscious or something to cut that out and like then I was like asking myself inside my head like why am I doing that and to be like oh because it's not ugly or it's ugly and it's just not what I would have done and what I would have chosen but it's like that's so silly because that's not real life like we don't all just live in these beautiful wonderful homes that is exactly what we would choose that's not it I don't know and so I'm like I need to share it and also it really tied me back to my upbringing and growing up and I would have been so proud and excited to have a building like this my parents are both veterans my dad did 20 some years dad was in the army mom was in the navy and we grew up very patriotic I always wore a like American flag wristband that said support our troops and my mom we owned a house that was white with black shutters my mom painted the shutters red and blue one shutter red the other shutter blue so whenever someone was looking for a house it's the red white and blue house i would have been so proud to have a building like this and i am so proud to have this building on our property that we own so i was like Alyssa, stop taking it out of videos like make sure to purposely put it in there because that's life this magnificent mirror i used to get nothing off facebook marketplace but my friend finds i just don't get on facebook so i didn't think about it ever my friend finds all her goodies her and her husband look like every morning and night they said so i'm like okay i need to start doing that and now that i found this they were asking 50 and i asked if she would take 40 220s boom she took it here it is the sidewalk is like pretty beat up and grant knows how to do concrete he works for construction but um he used to do concrete like himself like be the actual pour for a few years so we're gonna re-pour this and here is where the chickens will come out we'll have their little pretty little run here have the chicken coop coming down like because we need to keep away from air predators no, no. Yeah, you can start putting the bedding down. I'm gonna go get the chickadee girls and then we're gonna put them in their coop. Oh god, one of them's flapping up. Get down, Velvet! I think that's Velvet. I forgot I left you guys without the things. You guys have wings. Barrett, get back. No, Velvet, get back. Get back in there. Get in. Okay, I'm ready. They're all in there. We're good. Just jam this underneath the door handle against it so it stays okay. shut. Cutting them? Oh. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? 
Okay, let's get Velvet Girl out. Velvet Girl, let's get out. You're the first. Okay, Mother Clucker is next. Mama. Rest in peace, Mother Clucker. She's no longer with our group, Mama. so I'm assuming she passed Mama. away somehow. But Mama. no confirmation. Maybe Mama. she's having babies. What? They doing all right? Yeah. Do they love it? We had to build the outside run. It was getting pretty timely of a matter because they were starting to lay here soon. So we needed to get it going so that they could like go in and access their nesting boxes. So yeah, digging through this was so super hard. Whatever our ground is made of was quite hard. I helped Grant, I believe with just one, maybe, maybe one and a half or something. I think maybe it's just one. I don't know, but it was so hard. I was dripping sweat. Grant did all the rest, so major props to him. It was quite hot, hot, hot then. And then we were trying to decide which way we wanted the door to go. And this door actually came off of our screened-in porch on this house. We tore that screened-in porch down. And I loved the character of the door, so we saved it. And I knew that I wanted to use it elsewhere, but I wasn't quite sure where. So the outside run for the chicken coop was the perfect spot. Grant's cutting the middle siding to put our automatic chicken door opener on there. It's so, so convenient and nice so that we don't have to come in and out like at dawn and dusk or whatever to make sure that they're safe and no predators get to them. Um, it's, I can't remember the brand it is. It's off of Amazon and it was a pretty decent like priced one. It's worked out really great. Um, I'll have it linked down below. My parents got it for Grant for his birthday, which was so, so nice of them. We had to get the nesting boxes going because our chickens were laying. Our chicken, Mother Clucker, rest in peace if you're dead. If you're not dead, please come home. Mother Clucker was our first to lay. I put it on Instagram. I was so excited. I have all that footage, but it's vertical again, and I have way too much vertical already. So enjoy me and Grant making the nesting boxes. It's Grant telling me how to do it, and then I helped. This is it, life's not infinite It's the only chance we get So why are we waiting? Why are we waiting? Will it click? Looking for the next new fix Is this the new kind of sick? They say they have the answers But no one's getting better What are you getting? Oh, girls. Oh my god, dude. Monstrous this egg is. I've never seen an egg that big. I'm so curious how many yolks are in there. I need to get some bacon. Boo, no! It's a freaking boot and then a Grant slipper. Grant's boot and Grant slipper. I really hope that camera doesn't fall backwards because it's sitting on a bucket that has deer blood in it. <laughs> so that'd be gross if my camera would be covered in deer blood. I don't know why I'm kind of nervous to open this up. This is our paint sprayer. We've literally only used it once when we moved in. Grant used it. Um, but it seemed like it was wasting. My voice is all weird because I had like a cold or something yesterday. Pretty bad actually. I like only could be in bed and watching two boys that wasn't easy. I don't know why I'm nervous to use this when I'm not nervous to use a chainsaw. Our chickens were stuck in their chicken coop. I just realized when I went to eat the eggs all day and it's one o'clock, so that made me sad. We have an automatic door on it, so I don't know how that happened. Oh no! This ladder fell on me the last time, two days ago when I was painting, and it hurt so bad. Grant called me because he thought it fell when I was on it. Thank God it didn't, but it fell right over top of me. A gust of wind picked up, and I tried blocking it with my arm. Ooh, I felt like I couldn't move my arm for a while after that one. This is 
is a Wagner paint sprayer. We bought it on our own at Lowe's, but they do sell it on Amazon, so I will link it down below for you guys. You can see I keep looking down at the nozzle and then spraying and then looking down, and that's because it was leaving these like paint splatters all over. And I actually just kept painting with it like that as I was in the inside of the chicken run area. I was like, whatever, it's just the inside of a chicken run, just get the paint up. Like, don't be too much of a perf perfectionist with this. But I wanted to figure out how to properly use it and spray the correct smoothness because I know it can get there and I did figure it out it was because I had too much paint spraying out and it was clogging the nipple like the nipple I'm thinking of like breast feeding it. it was clogging the tip of the paint sprayer so there was that clogged dried paint on there and then it wasn't letting like allowing the paint to smoothly f get out <laughs> You can see me turning the knob thing because I was spraying in the wrong direction. So it's just was all trial and error, like figuring it out. I randomly decided to spray this, which I was laughing at myself as I was doing it because there's just going to get chicken poop all over it being white. This metal siding thing we found out in our field. I think like the old owners used to bury like trash or something out in our field. So like when we moved in, there was like an old couch, I think, old box spring too, and just like random trash bags. So a couple weeks ago, we completely cleaned up the field line and um, we found that in there. And so we thought it would be good to put over the chicken coop and like not have to buy that tin and then it would help with like the snow and the rain. So we are repurposing that tin with or metal or whatever it is. So that's really exciting. <laughs> I was obviously painting in the sprinkling rain and it was windy, so that's very smart. Kimmy, sweet Kimmy, in her probably Kane Brown concert shirt came, hey, hey, and little Mr. Bo. Bojangles. Bath soap. I don't even remember what this is. Oh, yay, our flagpole light. Heck yeah. This is what I've been waiting for and I forgot about it. We have a light out there um, now, but it's just not like it's the one for, that was on the chicken coop. It's not um, very bright. And for your flag at night, you need a light on there. So we got one that'll actually like spray up at the flag. They make some lights that you put at the top of the pool. I think my parents are going to get this one and it comes down over the top. But I just don't like the way it looks at the top. I don't know. I'm funny by saying that I don't like the way those look from the top because I think it just is an eyesore when this is like way more bulky than that kind. But for some reason, I like the way that this would shine up at the flag more. I don't know. It's solar powered. So that's nice. I wish we had all solar energy, but we'll get there. Speaking of the field cleanup, this was part of the box spring that was there and then some other random bits and bulbs. My parents just so happened to have a uh, one of these dumpsters, so I took it over in our nice vehicle. The level of how incredible I look is out of this world. I'm finishing up the chicken coop. We bought a gallon of primer and I don't know why because we still had some white down in the basement. I have used, this is really old paint, that is down there when we bought the house. One had a third of a gallon. I think the other, oh, the other one was a full quart. Anyways, a really old paint and it just so happened to be white. So I'm like, I'm just doing this as a primer to block some of that red and blue. And then I'm gonna go through with like a nice top like all the same shade of white, which you can't even tell that they're different shades, but I thought I went through them all. I guess I totally didn't because we went and bought a gallon of primer and I just went down there because I ran out for the smallest portion ever I'll go show you and I went down and I found more paint so I'm just stirring it up this is like really freaking old paint but it totally works so I'm freaking pumped I really wanted to paint the indoor of the chicken coop too to make it just nice and bright and just nicer to be in um, for us but Grant totally would not want to buy paint for that so now I'm really excited we definitely will have enough for at least Ouch, free paint is so incredible. I'm so glad they left this. We'll have enough free paint to do at least where the chickens stay. So 
I'm freaking excited. Oh, this color said it was called Frosted Mint, so I thought it would be like a green shade, and when I op first opened it, it was like yellow. I've already used this same exact color. Um, but it's totally white, so I got so lucky. Cross our fingers, it works well with the sprayer because I'm not reading the side, I'm just gonna pour it in. Maybe I should read the side. Priming, prime bare wood. Okay, I don't know. I'm just gonna put it in and hope for the best. 30 second update, it totally is a light mint color. It totally does have a shade of green. <laughs> Totally looks green. Greeny weeny. Um, that's so weird that it is green because I completely painted a portion of this with frosted white. A third, third can of frosted, frosted mint. I'm gonna go back downstairs in the basement and see if there's possibly a white down there that I could mix into that so it's not so green for the inside of the chicken coop. But really, it's the inside of a chicken coop who really cares. So. <clears throat> Let me tell you, that is an old crib mattress and an old crib box stripping and stuff and then I was like eh you guys don't want to see that let me not show the ceiling <laughs> but reality an absolutely disgusting peanut butter macchiato from Duncan my friend told me, my best friend told me to get it and I was like Bleh. um yeah coffee just ain't it anymore for me so this is the interior before paint <laughs> my hair after it's been up painting and just doing work for days I've got some of the brown started yesterday on Sunday, so I worked on trimming and it actually took a lot longer than I expected because I was trimming with a little brush and the way the metals like dipped in and stuff like that, it took longer than expected, but that was totally okay. It's been so nice out, like literally it was 80 degrees and it's the end of October in Ohio. And today it's again basically 80 degrees. It's 78 out right now. So I'm so happy. And like literally the amount of joy it brings me and Grant too. But working on your home. And like for me it's this vision. Grant just doesn't care. Like trust me. But it's like a vision I have in my head. And then when things start coming about it's so exciting. And every day I'm just so grateful. Before we even did anything to this house. Like I've been so grateful ever since and my ideas change but like some things stay the same like the chicken coop stay the same and like now it's here and we still have so much to do but every step along the way it just gets me like so freaking excited and i just hope other people i'm cleaning this off um with mineral spirit since this is an oil-based paint but and then i need to open it back up because i'm going to spray the doors now but i just hope other people are i know people i'm not the only one that feels this way but people like relate to me and stuff in that and it's just so freaking exciting paint is such a big game changer and this paint color at first i thought was so pretty literally looks like melted chocolate and then i was like wait is it poopy is it too light but on it looks gorgeous I forgot to put mineral spirits in this container so i have just like it looks like chocolate milk um from the brown and the white is sitting in there but um in there to clean it up i probably could have just put it in actually mm, i don't know anyway i'm cleaning this up so maybe i should stain first with the little unit i'm gonna do that <laughs> grant gave me my own little bit new ones and gave these ones to me. It's the first time I'm seeing that with him. Like 
his handwriting that he did that but okay let's get into our sprayer i want this little guy for the stain i'm so excited to stain our porch and stuff and this just makes it go clickety split like oh my god of course my favorite color ever dark walnut is what we're going with i'm so excited for it Hi, if you've made it this far, seriously, thank you so much. Please comment down below. I would love to chat so bad. A lot of people click out around the eight minute mark, my analytics say. So if you're still here, seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me know what you think of this. Um, I'm so excited. I love it. So that's all that really matters, I guess. But I would like to hear opinions. This is the before, obviously, and let's get into staining because I absolutely love stained wood right now, especially this dark walnut, dark chocolatey brown stained wood. I want all our trim in our house to be it. No more white painted trim. No more painted wood. <sighs> These beginning clips, I shooted the heck out of the stain. Like I had it on way too high of blast. You just, you're just gonna have to watch and see. Like way, way, way too high. And then I freaking overshot through to the door and got the white door all stained. I took some of the mineral spirits. It looks like a light chocolatey milk because it had some of the white paint in it and then the brown paint in it. But yeah, it's just mineral spirits on a rag and wipe that curl up. I'm spraying way too much. Remember that. I use like the power of the air, like the air pressure to try to get some of that bedding off that's like flicking up. Um, I don't know. We should have done this before we put the wood up, but maybe it needed to be out in the weather. I don't really know. But regardless, it's just a chicken coop, so I wasn't too concerned. Um, I just wanted the colors to be what I wanted and not necessarily a perfected job so from that little strip already that you guys just saw i already had used all the stain i put in there so that's what i'm saying like i used way too much stain i didn't even hardly use that amount of stain on our like solid wood doors that i redid for the hallway so like the way i was spraying was using just way too much stain and I probably should have, like, that's so much stain. I probably should have tested it before, but it was just a chicken coop again. So I was just like, whatever, I don't really care. Um, it was definitely a good, like, tester project, not, like, furniture or, like, in my house that I really care about. I've been lying here for two. I don't know what else to do I wanna get away from every little thing Just to try to make it through I've been thinking about my options Every detail in my head I've been running circles Trying to catch my breath lightly clean up some of the splatters. It's not too terrible and it is coming off with that, but I am stopping spraying because I am going through stain like crazy. Like I cannot believe I did not even use close to that amount on the doors. And now it's a lot more wood I feel like coverage. It's just spraying like so so much, but it did do really well over the chicken coop wire. I've been staring at the ceiling I've been staying up all night Everything I ever worked for Vanished in the blink of an eye I've been asking every question Wipe it, the more it's like 
making it a dingy white and I'm just so annoyed because I spent two weeks uh, not straight because it was cold but I spent a lot of time energy and excitement making this like pure white but I'm like okay whatever unless it's literally a chicken coop I just wanted it to be white and not the color it was and I prefer like old barns when they're weathered and Grant always uses the word patina like I prefer when it's more like that versus a stark white brand new so it's like whatever I need to buy a little bit more of the white to finish spraying up there Ooh, which I didn't think about that I need to spray that so I'm not going to stain the ceiling boards yet which yay that's exciting But yeah, when I buy the extra white up there, I can just clean up over a little bit. I'm gonna go inside and take a break though because I am outside in the wind and stuff, but I still need a mask. Like, Grant said yesterday we need to get like a big respirator mask for us when we do these kinds of projects versus our little mask we normally wear. But um, yeah, I need to go inside and take a break. Get, I am out in fresh air, but you know what I mean. Get fresh air. I need the weed blow the leaves. I'm gonna put them in the chicken coop, but I'm gonna go try to rest for a little bit. Come out here and finish the job. I'll find something to do inside. <laughs> the boys locked us in. It's a good thing Grant should be getting home decently soon. Ugh. Oh. We're locked in, sweet boys. Oh. Parents are here and they're gonna save us and get us out. They randomly showed up. Let's see if they notice we're locked in. really flaky bits of paint on the chicken coop honestly all over i just was like too lazy to take it off again i just wanted to change the color it's not like the best job ever the door had it like really bad the rest of the chicken coop wasn't as bad as the doors so i did take the time like i should have through the whole thing to get the flaky bits off the door hello i hope you enjoyed the video this is actually the day before the night before i'm posting it i'm gonna go out and get one last shot of the chicken coop for you guys so you can see a good full shot um i've been inside editing literally all day this video i say i'm gonna do light edits and then i do like such a complex edit um and just a lot of footage okay here are the chicky girls. Here is our coop. It's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. We still need to paint the roof brown, obviously, but it looks so good. Life's the truth.